Today I bought a three box Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection opening video. I think most of this is actually sealed products. Some of it might be singles, I can't really remember. We're gonna be opening this up and seeing what's inside. I can't really remember to be honest. I know it was some really cool stuff because I agreed to buy it, so let's see what it is. Today's giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away this Chaos Emperor Dragon First Edition Collector Rare PSA 9. Yes, I'm giving away this card. This is a very awesome card. So make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you like the most out of this sealed collection. Maybe if they're singles, I guess you could say that too. Let's get into it. All right, in this first box, we have a bunch of random stuff. We have a Darkwing Blast Blister, pretty cool. We've got Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep, also pretty cool. Battles of Chaos, which turned out to be a fan favorite, it seems like, from the past uh, you know year or so. I think I had it as the third best set for collectors, pretty solid. We got a few blisters for Battles of Chaos, which is pretty exciting. Maybe we can get that Dark Magician when we open those up. Then we have a Dawn of Majesty Blister. We've got Power of the Elements. We've got King's Court and then another King's Court. So a bunch of newer blisters. Don't worry, there's still some vintage to come. But not yet. We have a couple of structure deck Legend of the Crystal Beast. So if I'm going to play some, you know, Crystal Beast, that's probably going to be a giveaway at some point because I'm not playing Crystal Beast, let's be honest. I never even play Yu-Gi-Oh! So yeah, maybe I will. Who knows? Then we have, now we've got some old decks here. A starter deck Kaiba Evolution. I don't know what language this is. I Espanola. Okay, so we're looking at Spanish. Very cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a Spanish version of that deck specifically, so that's awesome. Then there's a Weevil Speed Duel deck. Okay, and then we have a Mystery Box, if you guys remember these. There are some newer ones of these that have come out. You might have seen my video from these already. I haven't been able to find any at Walmart, but somebody is sending me some, so I'm going to be opening those up soon. This one feels like it has the special, like, special, special edition. Yeah, okay. I'm struggling. Then we have yet another mystery box, the five booster packs, one deck. We've opened a lot of these on the channel. These are actually pretty fun. For the most part, they have decent selection. So another mystery box. Maybe you'll see that in a future video. I mean, you will at some point. And that was box one. That was the smallest box. We got two more boxes. Let's see what else. Um, hopefully more awesome sealed product. This one starts off hot with a Magnificent Mavens mini box. This thing's a little bent, but we're definitely going to be opening it at some point. We've definitely got a, a pack of sleeves in there. That's a good start. Then we have four Synchro Storm double blisters. These are not that great. They are light edition as well, so these aren't too crazy, but I guess maybe we could get a Baron if we get super lucky. That would be pretty awesome. It's still an expensive card, even though it's getting a reprint coming up, so you should probably sell them if you are uh, you know, holding on to yours. Then we have Dimension Force and Tactical Masters, a couple blisters. There, we have another mystery box to go along with all our other three that we've gotten already. Then the legendary mystery gems mystery boxes. The, probably the worst mystery box I've ever opened. They're really terrible. Not even fun to open because you know you're going to get one of three cards or six or whatever it was. Here is a complete booster box of first edition Shadow Spectres. This is pretty cool. This is considered one of the worst sets ever, supposedly, by, you know, the com competitive community, etc. But... I like this set because I like the uh, Divine Dragon guy or whatever, the Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, Seeker Rare guy. I think he looks really amazing, so makes that set not as bad in my eyes. There's also a second booster box. This is Lightning Overdrive. Probably not as crazy, but we could pull the Black Rose Starlight, which I've never pulled. If we did pull it, I would freak out. That would be amazing. So hopefully that happens. I'm excited to at least open that and try. What is this? Wait, what? We also have graded cards. I have no idea what grading company this is but we have uh black gold authentications i guess maybe that's the name gold moon coin battles of legend hero revenge why has this been graded i have no idea we have infernoble not it's a rare what is happening oh my gosh what are these cards spiral fusion they're regular rares out of mega pack 21 oh my gosh this hurts to look at this is the definition of a junk slab right here. Melfi Forest. At least that's like, you know, funny. Melfi, okay. We've got another rare out of Mega Pack 21. Oh my gosh, it hurts. And then a, look, at least this is a Shadal card. At least there's that. You know, there's, someone might like this card. Wow, that is some junky slabs right there. That's hilarious. We also have a couple more structure decks. We have an Albaz structure deck and a Saga of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. This thing has been reprinted so many times recently, but two more structure decks. Pretty cool. A couple more, uh, you know, open structure decks. This is the uh, Speed Duel for Rex Raptor. And then this one's from the Hero decks, I think. One of these has like a Dark Law in it, I think. I don't think it's that one, but maybe it is. Who knows? Then we have some sleeves, which are pretty nice, which is the Dark Magician, the Girl, the Dragon Knight. And then Hypermat Minis, which are also really quality sleeves for the most part. So I don't need 
need more sleeves after Mavens, but now we have more. I guess that's a good thing. I'm running out of room for my sleeves. I'm, they're literally all over the place. There's sleeves everywhere. Now we're getting into some vintage packs. We have Generation Force, Legacy of the Valiant, Cross Souls. These are first dead too. We got Cross Souls, Cross Souls, Maximum Crisis. This is, I mean, this is vintage. It's like, I mean, not vintage, but it's six years old at this point, which is pretty insane. Maximum Crisis. Uh, Judgment of the Light is like over 10 or maybe 10 years old, something like that. Then we've got a Wild Heart, the uh, promo that should be a secret rare, but it's not. Then there are more. We have Power of the Duelist. That's unlimited Power of the Duelist. You don't really see that very often. Unlimited Power of the Duelist. We've got a Jaden Yuki pack, a Legacy of Darkness, Legacy of Darkness, Legacy of Darkness. We've got Stardust Overdrive, First Ed Photon Shockwave, Cross Souls again, Ancient Prophecy Unlimited. We've got a First Ed Force of the Breaker. We've opened a bunch of that recently. Have had pretty decent luck. Extreme Victory First Ed. We got a few of those. First Ed Cyber Dark Impact. Then we got a movie pack. So there's a lot of great, you know, packs in there for the most part. Okay, here they come. More junk slabs. Gravity Controller. Tri Brigade Nerval. We've got an upside down Cyber Dark. No, I'm just kidding. Dream Mirror of Joy. And then look, a Mystery Gems was opened. Ah, uh, rip 10 bucks. And that's not the end of the packs. We still have Dark Neo Storm, Breakers of Shadow, Code of the Duel's first ed. We've got a Clash of Rebellion's first ed. That's pretty exciting. Primal Origin first edition, Flames of Destruction, for Dimension of Chaos Unlimited. There's an Invasion of Chaos, which would have been really nice. They're getting a reprint. Still exciting, though. Got a couple of those. We've got a Movie Pack Secret Edition. I like that pack. Legacy of the Valley first edition. So that's a nice selection there as well. There's still a bunch of packs to come. We're only on the second of three boxes, so there's more potential fire. Uh-oh. Rising Rampage first ed. Apollosa Starlight's going to be in this pack. Just wait. We've got uh, more Synchro Storm. Okay. Ignition Assault. Not too terrible. Chaos Impact. IP Mascarena, it's going to happen. Judgment of the Light, we got Shadow Spectres again. Cybernetic Horizon. Ooh, Figa, the best pack ever. Just ended off with a bunch of Figa, yeah. That is how you do it right there. Figa, such a nice set. We may have saved the best box for last, so if you like the stuff so far, just wait for this one. We're starting it off with some Magnificent Maven sleeves. Okay, I wasn't joking. This is actually a firebox, but yes, there are a lot more sleeves that I don't need. Magnif okay, I don't know if these are magnificent. Maybe they're not. These are, but I don't know what those are. More sleeves, just what I need. But honestly, you really can't have too many sleeves because there's more. So, uh, I mean, I need them. They're for my job, I guess. So it works. All right, now we have some real slabs. We've got a Beckett slab. What card is it? It is a... A pristine tin Suijin. I wish this was first dead. It's unlimited, unfortunately. But wow, this is one subgrade away from a black label that's insane i've never personally graded a 10 in bgs i've always got nine five or worse why is this all crooked that's another thing i hate about bgs is the cards look at look at that look how crooked it is but look at that label that is insane a bgs 10 suigen that's actually pretty sick okay that's exciting then we have a couple psa cards we have a gem mint 10 lost millennium unlimited Thunder Giant, it's just an ultra rare, so it's like the lowest rarity of the Thunder Giant from that set, but still, it's a PSA 10. That's pretty awesome. All right, not bad, and then this is definitely better than Junk Slabs. Like, they're not, like, extremely high-end, but they're at least worth something. And then we have a Pre-Mat Unlimited from Pharaoh Server. That's a 9. That's not too bad either. All of those at least have some value, so there's something to them, unlike those other ones before. Okay, there's one more that I missed. It is a Aqua Neos Gym Mint 10. It's an Ultra Rare, but this, I mean, this is a Hero Ultra 10. This has got to be worth at least, like, 125, 150 maybe? That is a pretty solid value card right there. Okay. That's pretty big. Okay, here's what I didn't even realize was in here, but this is a really cool item. Structured Deck Zombie Madness First Edition. I had the mat for this. I still have it, by the way. I used to use it in my videos, then I switched over to this one. But I love the look of this. The Vampire Genesis. This is such an old school one. This is like 2004, I think, or the first day of 2005. I can't remember. This is a sick deck. I have the Warriors Triumph deck. I'll probably keep this sealed in my collection. That's really fun. Old school decks. I, I would like to collect all these old school decks at some point. So that's pretty sick. I'm going to keep that in the background. That's pretty awesome pickup. And speaking of old decks, we have the Lord of the Storm. This one does have a sticker on it, which is cool and also sort of annoying. But it's also cool because it's a $12 deck, which it's not anymore. This thing is pretty beat up, though, compared to the other one. This one, not as cool as the other one. Just like, you know, just the, some more who cares, you know, versus Vampire Genesis. But it's still really cool because it's so old. Definitely a little beat up. Look at that. Experienced. Pretty cool, though. I will definitely take that. That's awesome. Then this is a really cool one. We have a Spell Ruler. So this is not a current reprint. This is a Red Banner logo. A lot of people on the Shorts channels, whenever I post short stuff, are like, 
Ha ha, what a weirdo. He said it's worth a lot, but it's a reprint. No, it's because it has red banner. You got to know that shorts and TikTok people. Red banner means it's old still. This means it's a 2003 print prop. Well, actually, probably not because, well, it could have been 2003 after they changed the name late in the year. Probably more like 2004 or 5, maybe Forbidden Legacy pack. This is what this could be because that's why it's spell ruler. Red banner, you can kind of piece it together. This is also not a... Uh, konami made blister obviously it says legends on it contains one pack so it's hilarious yeah thanks for telling us uh we couldn't tell but these are also really cool look here's some more other ones we actually have opened some of these legends blisters before in other videos i'll try to pop up a video from back when we did that before this will be fun to open at some point spell ruler not a new pack very cool then we have a redox dragon ruler of boulder seal 10 this is i think 2013 something like that Five packs, four foil cards, and then they give you, uh, of course, some promos. Really cool. A bunch of different promos, actually. This is when they started giving you a lot. I think that my favorite tins are the ones where it's like, there's not a window. People like the windows. I like where there's not a window, and they just have the full art of the card on there. The newer ones, I mean, they're kind of cool, but I just like this era, and like the original 2002 and 2003 were just the whole card art on the front. That was really cool. The problem with the window ones is once you open them, there's just a window to nothing, and it's just like, it just looks bad but like when it's sealed it looks great but when it's not sealed it doesn't look good then we have a tempest dragon ruler of storms another sealed tin another sick uh Yu-Gi-Oh card and then of course there's a bunch of promos and stuff in here another cool tin we have one more item and it's the best one yet the final item is no this is not sealed this is a magic ruler box with a few packs left inside so the question is like yeah well are these are these weighed it's like you know there's only a few packs left that's a great question. According to this guy, they are not weighed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs left. Eight Magic Ruler. We will find out if there's anything inside in the future, very soon, probably. I will be opening these Magic Ruler original packs. You can tell from the logo. And then, of course, it's named Magic Ruler. So it's one of the easiest sets to tell if it's old or not. Magic Ruler packs. That is the finale, the last thing that we have for this opening. We're going to open up a couple of packs just to end it off. But pretty amazing pickup in terms of sealed product. You're going to be seeing... All of this, I think, opened on the channel. Okay, before we head out, let's open a couple packs. We have an Invasion of Chaos reprint pack that we got in this collection. Let's see if we can pull a Chaos Emperor Dragon. Just to, you know, be a good start to this opening of all the stuff that we're going to be opening on the channel. Let's go. We have a Multiplication of Ants. Uh-oh, I've got too many things. I'm hitting stuff. Oh, no. Everything's going crazy. I hear emerges. As long as we're still recording, it's good. Begone, Knave. Heart of the Underdog. Hyper Hammerhead. We got a Salvage. Skull Mark Ladybug. A Destruction Ring. And... An Earth Chant. Okay, let's not end it on that. Let's do a Tactical Masters real quick. See what we can pull. Speaking of Tactical Masters, this has nothing to do with Tactical Masters. I just said that. We have been streaming on Twitch a lot recently. Three times a week. I'm committing it to it for the entire year. So if you guys want to come see, we've been opening Pokemon. We've been playing Pokemon. We've been doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series stuff. We've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Go format. We've been doing all kinds of stuff over there. Go check out my Twitch channel. Let's see what we can get here. we got Invader of Darkness. We've got Runic. We've got Fiend Grieving. Labyrinth Stovey, Duelist Alliance. Oh, and a runic tip. Ultra rare. Let's go. That is a great pull. This is like one of the best cards in the set in ultra rare. We are taking that. That's a great way to end this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. All of this stuff, well, besides the structure decks, will be open on the channel in the future, so make sure to subscribe. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.